All right, let's go look now at the forecast for the rest of today. Sun is out. I mean, if you're like looking through a window, you're thinking, wow, it is really nice outside. And it is, but like the next couple days when you look out that window, you're going to wish that you were outside the window. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to carve out some time yeah. to be outdoors, maybe do a little grill night outside if you can at the house, dust it off, right? We've got some great weather coming our way. Newport Harbor looking good this morning and now this noon time as well. With the blue skies, that's the case all the way up into northern Rhode Island to North Situate Drive roadways back to Bear Ground. There, a little leftover snow pile here and there and that's about it. The cold is going to be retreating these next few days. What a week we have in store with the temperatures well above average 50s and 60s in the forecast starting tomorrow and it's overall going to be a dry stretch of weather as well. We'll talk all about it right now. You still want your warm coat if you're just leaving uh, to grab a little lunch, run a couple of errands. It's 35 in Smithfield, 37 in Taunton and 33 in Newport. We have winds that are light and variable, a little stronger along the Massachusetts coastline, 10 to 15 miles per hour there, but only a three mile an hour wind in Providence. So feeling more like the upper 20s and 30s for those wind chill conditions. Live radar dry. The sunshine continues this afternoon. We'll climb another few degrees to so the high for the day in the next few hours. We'll be right up around 40 degrees, then cooling back by 6 o'clock in the evening into the middle 30s. Now, tonight's one of those nights where the coldest part of the night is early on. We'll drop down to the upper 20s to near 30, 8, 9 o'clock in the evening, and then gradually rise as we approach dawn. Now, notice there's some extra clouds in place as well. That's going to be coming in as a push of warmer air arrives. And you can see the cooler conditions over the northeast, but much of the central southeastern parts of the nation, much milder. Chicago's in the 50s today. That mild air is coming our way for tomorrow. Here's the front right now. It's crossing New York and Pennsylvania. And so as it moves in, we are looking at a period of clouds overnight into tomorrow morning. The temperatures climbing here into the middle 50s for tomorrow afternoon, mainly sunny skies. That's a good 10 degrees almost above average. A similar day on Wednesday. It'll be a little breezy on Tuesday. Thursday's highs in the lower 60s. Now we're talking inland spots when we talk about that sort of warmth, even some mid 60s possible Smithfield and Attleboro. As you get closer to the coastline Thursday and Friday, the temperatures will be in the 50s. The water temperature right now is at its chilliest of the year, and so we're looking at any sort of slight wind direction off the water, holding those temperatures down for our coastline. We have a threat of a passing shower late in the day on Friday, a lot of warm air out ahead of it, and right now the shower threat's not not too impressive. A couple of light showers possible. Warmth ahead of that front. Once it passes through, we'll start to cool down. So the temperature is Saturday closer to 50. And if you want another sign of spring other than just that warm up we have this week, we begin daylight saving time this weekend. So we spring forward Saturday night. That pushes our sunrise time up back to about nearly 7 a.m. But the sun won't set until almost 7 p.m. Saturday, uh, Sunday evening, 651 to be exact.